Yo what is going on guys, welcome back to another video, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create this amazing text animation using After Effects. This is so simple to make, so let's jump into After Effects and get started. Okay guys first we need to add text, so select the text, and type whatever you want. Okay then I center my text layer. Then I need to center this anchor point too. So I pressed Ctrl plus Alt plus Home to center this anchor point. Okay now I need to change this to stroke text, so I click this to change my text layer to stroke layer. Okay, now we need to add the cylinder effect, so go to the effects tab, search CC cylinder effect, and add it to my text layer. Okay, then open rotation settings, and change the X rotation value you want. I set it to something minus 30. Then we need to create spin animation, so create a Y rotation keyframe on the start, then go 10 seconds forward, and change this to something 2 rounds. Okay, now our spin animation is done, let's add some light effects. So go to the light section, and you can use any color you want. Then create keyframes on these. Go to the end. Change the light height to 50, and direction to 2 rounds. Okay guys, now it looks like this. It's perfect. So now we need to add some glow to this animation. So first I add an adjustment layer. And I rename it called Glow. Then find the glow effect on the effects panel and add it to this layer. Okay then change the glow threshold to 47. Keep the radius to 10. And change the intensity to 0.3. Then I need to duplicate this glow effect. So I press Ctrl plus D to duplicate. Then I change this glow threshold to 34, the radius to 100, and the intensity to 0.7. Then I duplicate again this glow effect, keep the glow threshold to 34, and change the radius to 250, and change the intensity to 0.2. Okay guys now it looks like this. Okay now we need to transform this animation, so I add another adjustment layer and add a transforming effect to this adjustment layer. Then I change the scale to 120, and adjust the rotation a little bit like this. Ok guys now our spin text animation is complete, here's the result. Ok guys let's see how to change this animation like this. So first we need to pre-compose these layers, so select all layers, and press Ctrl plus Shift plus C to pre-compose them. Then I named it Text, and hit OK. Then I add my background, and statue image to this. Now we need to bring this text layer forward, so I bring my text layer onto the top like this. Ok now we need to change this part looks, like behind this statue. So let's see how to do that, so I open my text composition. Then we need to cut this text circle into two parts. So select the text layer, and go to the effect settings, then change this render mode to outside. Now you can see it is only visible on one side of our text layer. So we need to make our other side too. For that I make a new composition here, and named it called text2. Then I copy all layers in my text composition, and paste it on my new text 2 composition. Then select the text layer, and change the render mode to inside. Then go to our main comp, and add my text 2 composition, under this statue layer. Ok now it's done. After that I change the positions on these text layers. 
After that I add some drop shadow to this statue. After that I like to add zoom out animation. And for that, I add a null object to this. Then I link all layers to my null object. Then I create my zoom out animation like this. Then select all keyframes, hit F9 for easy ease, then open the speed graph, and change the graph to something like this. Okay, our animation is done. Here's the final result. So that's pretty much it guys. Thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoy this, and please leave a like this video and be sure to subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment about this video, and what tutorial you like next, so let's meet up the next video. Take care and peace.